Welcome to part 2 of installing Windows 95 on Microsoft Virtual PC. Um, now we're going to set up it from a CD-ROM. How jolly. Um, just uh, create it again. Uh, name and location just uh, Windows 95 OS R2 other let's adjust the RAM we only need 32 to run it but uh, I recommend 64 just for faster boot times next new hard disk uh, OS R2 has got uh, many more upgrades updates I mean. um, let's make it 4 gigabytes so it's um, 4096 megabytes yes Ok, let's finish it. Well, since it's going to take very long, I'll cut it uh, from here. And um, you'll see me back when I've installed Windows 3.1 and stuff, and we're ready to install it. Alright. Alright, there we are. Now we're going to insert the Windows 95 setup CD-ROM. Let's go to uh, the D here and type in setup. Setup is initializing. And there we are. Windows 95 setup. Continue. It's pretty much the same now. Well, it's the same as as just with uh, the floppy. <laughs> Only thing different is that this is OS R2. So with the floppy was 95A. So now we want everything that we can get more or less. Uh, you might notice this uh, is a different uh, folder, Windows .000. That's because I already had Windows 3.1 installed, but I removed the kernel, so I could install this. I got error messages about... Um, what did I get? Like, you already have an operating system installed. Yes, I, I, do, I did, but there was a crap system. Well, it was the best Windows ever made, I think, 3.1. But um, we're for 95, uh, 3.1. To install 3.1, you have to watch my video on that. Oh, uh, one moment here. I'm looking for the key. Alright, I'm back. Um, I found it here on this site. Uh, if you can't read it, then, um, well, that's your problem. Just get a just get a pair of glasses. Um, let's check it in. Three o one nine five. O E M. Zero 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 five three one five. There's a oh, there's a zero too much there. Already knew. Now let's go to the next name. Set name. CD driver is already installed, so that option is not here. Because I have installed it through Windows 3.1 with the DOS CD driver diskette I already had. I can send it to you if you want it to. Just leave your email address at the comment section. And I will... Uh, oh, it's going to uh, analyze again. This might take about an uh, hour or so. <laughs> I think it just... Installed. No, it didn't. Okay. Um. Okay. I'll tune in later when this is uh, done. There we are again. Um. Install the most common components. Well, that's just fine. No starter disk. It just takes more time than we have. We only have ten minutes because of YouTube's limit of ten minutes. I should remove that really. Now it's installing. Well, the pro about this is we don't have to constantly insert the disks. It's just installing all the necessary files from the CD-ROM. Well, the fastest CD-ROM drive in N95 was about uh, a quad speed, I think. I think the single or dual speed was the most common back then. 
so it emulates that too in the virtual PC so it might take a while now well just like analyzing it just have to pick up some speed and then it will uh, go really nice I said I prefer Windows 98 SE way over 95 because it have it has better compatibility than 95. Although I think 95 is still a pretty good Windows system. A lot of people used it and it sold about four million copies in about uh, a million copies in about four days. So uh, I think that's pretty nice. Well, a lot of PCs back then uh, couldn't run 95 because most people had a, a 386 Intel processor with uh, 8 megabytes of RAM. You just couldn't get 95 running on that kind of system. It required at least 32 megabytes of RAM for the installation. Well, it's recommended. Minimum of 16 uh, megabytes. And the um, recommended processor was uh, Pentium MMX, or just Pentium 1, um, of 200 megahertz. They really got a fast system. It's also uh, worth trying to uh, get Windows 95 running on a 2 gigahertz. Well, you have to do it in a virtual machine or you won't get it running, since uh, it only supports up to 999 megahertz processors. Alright, it's uh, set up. This is uh, pretty much uh, enough, I think. So, uh, thanks for watching.